Okay, guys, what's up? Welcome back to me, her, and everything else. Guys, I'm loving the feedback and all the love. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, tell your girlfriend, tell your boyfriend, tell your husband, tell your wife about the podcast because we are having so much fun here. And yeah, it's another episode. So my guest today is, I don't even know how to describe her. So I'm just going to let her describe herself. But her name is is Dia Dam. Okay. <laughs> um, and you, you oh wait, first up, you're an entrepreneur. Yeah. And you are a mother. Yes. I would say it's one thing, but I don't know if it's going to offend you. I, it probably will, but people will probably see you as like a Lagos big babe, a slay queen. Um, Funny enough, I don't like when people call I me that. I know. I saw you say that. Actually. <laughs> I don't like you. Don't worry, don't go introduce yourself. Okay, so um, my name is Adiola Adiyemi Chizoba. Popular, you know, as dad, um, I'm an entrepreneur, CEO, BC by AD. Uh, you like to say the number one makeup brand in Nigeria, Come but anyways, on, yes. excuse me. <laughs> and also, I'm a mom, I have a beautiful daughter, Akori Day, and I'm an influencer. So, yeah, that's great, just about me. Great. So, we're just going to get straight <sighs> into it. Yeah, let's. I told you, I'm not going to beat around the bush. Okay. So, this episode really is about stereotypes and demystifying let's say maybe the slay queen because okay. I don't have any other term for it and then also you know being a boss babe in Lagos Lagos mm. specifically because Lagos is so such a special environment mm. it's different very, very I don't special. think there's anywhere like Lagos <laughs> on the planet mm. so you started your journey um and you first you 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 started off as a makeup artist <laughs> yes 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 I trained as a makeup artist um 2013 that's about say more than 10 years nine ten years ago i can't yeah. remember and so yeah i trained as a makeup artist i've trained different places i could like three times different places i trained at mod mod designery and yes it wasn't really working even though i really loved makeup i just wanted to do makeup regardless of whatever it is even us as a makeup artist maybe mm-hmm. as a brand owner and which is what i'm doing today so it's good so yeah yeah, but you you said um, that you actually you, you wanted to be a makeup artist. Yeah. That you did someone's makeup and then they kind of hmm. like <laughs> they kind of like put you off doing makeup because of their like response. Yeah, uh, well that story was really really heartbreaking. Anytime I think about it, I feel really really bad because that's like one dream that I wanted to pursue, but because of that incident, I just decided that you know what I think being a makeup artist is not my thing. Mm-hmm. So let me just focus on something else. And um, till today, I won't say I regret my decision because I'm still happy where I am. I'm happy doing what I'm doing right now. But then, yes, the, whoever, the person that did what she did to me, I don't want to mention her name. I'm sure she's somewhere just enjoying her life. She doesn't even know <laughs> what she did. Exactly. She doesn't know what she did to me that made me, you know, change my mind. So, yeah. Yes, but that but it's kind of like a blessing as well because now you own your own beauty brand, which is a really big deal. Exactly. Like what doesn't cure you sometimes makes you stronger. Yeah, so no, it definitely does. I'm grateful. Actually, I'm very, very grateful to her because I'm sure if I was a makeup artist, if I'm still a makeup artist, probably I'll just be carrying my makeup box around. Yeah. And I'm, <laughs> so yeah, I'm just, I'm grateful to her anyways. Yeah, no, and, and the story of even like how you um got the funding and even how you started your makeup brand. Because let's be real, in Lagos, okay. I've been saying this um since last week, actually, um, mm-hmm. it was Women's Day mm-hmm. and um women tend, well, people, but women as well mm-hmm. tend to judge each other. So there's like stereotypes. So if you look a certain way, you know, if you dress well, you look good, people will think, oh, okay, this is... As you you live a certain lifestyle, mm. or you're if you you have a successful business as a woman, it's a man. There was a man behind it. That's Nigeria for you. That's Nigeria for you. They will always say something. You can't even have a successful business in Nigeria anymore because if you do, they will mm. say, "Oh, somebody's just there bankrolling her." For me, I know my story. I know where I came from. I know how it all started. I mean, there was a man involved. There was a man involved. Yeah. There was a man involved in your business. There was a man that, that helped you bankroll your business. How? <laughs> How? Wasn't it your dad? Dad. Okay, yeah, yeah. fine. My dad. See? Okay, okay, fine. Yeah. Are you, are you it's just. <laughs> No, oh, no, no, you said a man. I'm I like know, a man. No, no. Where? I'm to catch you there. No, 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 no. Okay, no. so um, okay, the story. Hmm. How I started my business was really rough because I told the story on my YouTube. 
how it all started. Fine, I was traveling to China because mm. that's where I make my products from. That's where a lot of people make their products. Yeah, from. yeah. <laughs> Some people say they make. Yeah, products. yeah. They like so to say it's another. China. I, so I traveled to China. Then when I wanted to go, I just had plans of just doing like few pieces of lipsticks, and you know I'm popular because I like I've been popular like since. You know, so I was like, mm, since I'm popular, even if I do anything, mm. they will definitely buy. So I had the mind of just doing a few pieces of lipsticks. To be honest, when I was, um, when I started Beauty by AD, I didn't even, like, I didn't even think about the bigger picture. I didn't even know I would be here today. Like, the brand would be five. Do you understand? Five. So, wow. yeah. So when I was going, I just went with the mindset of, okay, you know, let me just do a few pieces and sell. On getting there, even the the company that I wanted to, you know, um, get the products from. When I got there, I didn't, I couldn't even find my way around China, so I had to start searching mm. all over again. I got there, the amount of um, products I wanted to do, they said, "Nah, that you can't do, you can't do these pieces." I wanted to just like um, hundred pieces and okay, so your MOQ, was yeah, MOQ, low. the MOQ was about twelve thousand pieces. Oh, sir, and I was already in China. I can't come back to Nigeria empty handed. Nah. One way, one way. We must do something. Yes. So I started calling people, you know, and you know how Nigeria is now. Even if you have friends and you tell them your dreams, it's like, mm, I think yeah. you're always coming with, today you say you want to do this one. Tomorrow you say you want to be an actress. Okay, now you want to be, you want to start selling makeup. Yeah. So now I already got in there. So I'm like, I cannot leave this country without getting my um product. Mm. So I need, I need money. I started calling people. People that could come through came through. I even called my dad. My dad had to go and borrow money for me. I can't forget my my cousin. A lot of people just you know came to my rescue. I took loans. I won't even lie. Like I even took loan because then I was driving um a Camry mm. back then in school because I was still in school. I went to um a loan firm in Ghana. I took a loan with that car. They said okay, they will collect it. I said anything you want to do, just. Give me this wow. money. I need to, like, I need to, because you know, after paying, after paying for the deposit, you need to still pay the um, what's it called, the balance before okay. sending the products down. Yeah, I took yeah. loans. It's got to be the glory. I was able to get the products. Twelve thousand pieces of lipsticks. Twelve thousand. It, it of wasn't lipstick. even easy selling. You know, when you after making the products, after going through the stress of making shipping and all of that, the products came in to sell. Few people will support you. Okay, let me yeah. support your brand. Let me buy. And talking about people that support you, what was interesting about your story as well was that your friend, your friend Queen. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> See, I know a bit about you, girl. You know. But yeah, yeah, but your friend Queen, that's so beautiful. The way she also um really like told you, said to you, like she, in, she, I don't know, she encouraged you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and believed in you and yeah. that's so beautiful to see as a, a, a woman to have a friend that believes in that's you so much that believes in yeah. you so much yeah that's wonderful anything. like that's that that is such a um admirable admirable relationship that you have mm. so yeah so well it was really tough i won't lie because even after the products came in to sell because people yeah people patronized yeah, but you say you're popular now, so it shouldn't be hard. Ah, right? it was hard though. It was hard because <laughs> some people, you know, I, the funny thing is, you, you people you call your friends as mm. high school, obviously, people you, you call your friends will support you. Oh, oh, that's a given. Yeah. Like if you if, if you start a business, they <laughs> they instead of to buy from you, they'll go to the next person. They'll just be like, <laughs> and I don't know why. She okay, let's give her six months. I'm sure she'll be tired, and she'll pack up. She gets so it was not easy, but I. To be honest, I was always talking about my brand every single day. Even up to now, I still talk about my brand because at the end of the day, I have people I look up to. So when you look up to people and then you have in your mind that, okay, one day, the people you look up to will eventually become your rivals. Okay? Yeah. So yeah, and that's... So that's you were shameless thing. about plugging your brand. Oh, I was very shameless. <laughs> <laughs> I was very, very no, shameless. It's necessary though. Yes. But like, did you have any challenges in terms of people taking you seriously because you know okay you're an influencer you've been mm. popular for a while mm. um you said that like people you know obviously didn't some of your friends didn't really take your mm. business ideas seriously yeah. Yeah. but like from your appearance mm. have people like judged you or thought that okay this one is not serious maybe like you don't have se- like no sense but you don't have like a, 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 a you're not you're not smart or clever well just because of the way you look well because you hot girl you know <laughs> thank you 
anyways, I, I think that's normal for people to, you know, think mm-hmm. when they see you. Normally, when they see a fine girl, they just be like, mm, she's just their beauty without brains. Do you understand? So, I feel like um, if they used to think about it before, maybe now, that idea is no longer there because it's not possible for you to be consistent for mm-hmm. five years. Even if you're popular. I've seen, when I started my brand, a whole lot of popular people started with me. And you can't even hear about them now. Mm. So even if you're popular and you and you like you know you start a business, if it's not good, if you're not doing fine, you won't be getting returning customers. I don't know if you get what I mean. There's yeah. so many people that patronize my brand. I don't even know me. Yeah, they don't even know that I'm the owner. Yeah, so they're not buying into it because of you. They're not they're buying because like of me. At this products. at this point that I am right now, they're not buying um, buying my um, products because it's me. They're buying because it's good. The brand is trust. Like, they can trust the brand now. Mm. Do you understand? So you have to be able to create that trust in the minds of people. But they have to be able to buy a product, especially when you're putting it on your skin. Yeah. So you have to trust the brand. Yeah, definitely. To, to do that. And you know, <clears throat> there are a lot of brands out here that they just want to make money or they just want to be popular and they don't have a passion for it. So they're not really interested in the formula that's Okay, used. well, for me, I feel like what I, was, I always tell people is um, if you want to do anything, if, I always tell people to go for what they love. What they love. So it doesn't seem like hard work. Mm. I mean, if you love what you do, you love your job, you love everything. Even if you're going from Monday to Sunday, you would love it because it's your passion. is yeah. what you love. It will not seem like hard work at all. So yeah, for me, I, I enjoy what I do. I love my job. I can't even stay a day without being productive. Wow. Oh so, so you must be busy and you have a daughter. How is it balancing that? Because people always ask me, how do you do it? You have a supportive husband, blah, 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 you know. But how do you do it? Because I have friends that are also like single mothers mm, mm. and juggling it and watching them, it's really not easy. You know, Nigeria is such a male-dominated society where mechanics only respect men when it's, or, you know, you try, you have to buy diesel. It's just a bit hard for your shop and things like that. See, at this point today, I'm not even going to sugarcoat anything is hard I always say it's easy my daughter is understanding da, 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 da. it's hard the fact that I'm even a single mom it's hard there are times mm-hmm. that I'll just lay in my bed and cry and I can't even cry when my daughter is there because she'll be like mommy what's wrong mm-hmm. are you hungry why are you sad it's really hard let me not even lie because I'm sorry, sure there are so many single mothers out there watching this listening to this and you know when I try to paint a picture that oh it's easy yes it's easy but to be honest it's not easy yeah. like when you think of work and you know the kind of my kind of work to be honest with you like on Valentine's Day I sacked four of my staff the same day oh, because at the end of the day yeah. <laughs> four people go just like that I'm telling you because at the end of the day you think when, when you have a business and you want things done I feel that's like another, sorry, that's another, another type of breakfast. Chop it, chop it. Uh, yeah, everybody, they all did that for me that day. Did I serve them us breakfast? But this day, you're not, you're not doing what I want. I'm paying mm. you. Do you understand? I feel like you're not taking my. You know when you when you want to employ people, what I'm going to tell people is, if you want to employ, employ anybody, make sure you employ someone that has the same drive as you. Because if you don't employ someone that has the same vision as you, you're just going to be working. You'll be the one doing everything and they'll just sit there. Your your used to say, um, Ogata, Ogata. Ojo, Owala, Rakbi. I mean, if, if you like... I don't like, know it. I'm going to translate because some <laughs> people don't think I understand you, but I'm going to okay. just all of you right now. Mm-hmm. So it means, you know, if the boss's business sells or whatever it does not sell, it doesn't matter because I'm still going to keep my salary. It's my salary, Come exactly. On. So that was how... The whole thing was going. It was looking yeah. because I was doing everything. I was on handling my social media. I was on. I was the one doing literally everything. I always beg. Okay, post. Do mm. this. Do that. They getting paid. See that beg. <laughs> exactly. So I just got tired. So Im- imagine you getting frustrated at work, getting frustrated at home. You are an influencer. You're trying to please brands that mm. you've collected money from because mm-hmm. it's none of your business. If you yeah. like. Go through heaven and back. You've collected money, so you yeah. have to do your job. She gets it's not really easy. And being yeah, a mother, you have to always be there for your child because yeah, maybe the beginning send you message, make you, make you carry and come this world mm, at all. Do you understand? So it's not 
easy. I'm not going to let, I'm not going to lie here that, oh, it's very, it's fine. Oh, just go and get pregnant and be a single mother. <laughs> no, because, yeah, you're right. Because even in the presenting world, people expect you to just always be smiling and happy. They don't mm. care about what's maybe happened in your home I'm or five you. minutes ago, you have to come to the camera and be ready. So with influencing, if you don't post for five days, people are going to be like, what's going on? Why are you not posting? Oh, what's happened to her? You know, so you have to, it's almost like, you have to always keep up. Hope. Yeah. And that can take a toll on you mentally. <sighs> like, has your mental health been affected by social media and having and to then like, always... Come, then trolls will be there. Mm. Like, you have to always paint the perfect picture all the time. I mean, it's not easy. There are times that I would just feel like, can I just live a normal life? Like, can I just be me? Can I just... Mm. Or just... And you can't even leave social media because that's your office. Yeah, that is... And it's like 24-7. Like, you can't even leave. You can't even go off. So it's just really hard. But we're pushing it. Yeah, and speaking... No, you're doing a great job. Because looking back at where you started and speaking of trolls, mm. you're... You kind of like... It's like, you know, some people, their journeys start off on a negative page. Like, you were, tro- you were trolled a bit by a blog. Mm. There was some stuff about you and you were able to flip that. You know, I'm sure it wasn't easy because when anyone goes through any type of, um, I don't know what to call it, but any, it's like public, it's a public forum for people to debate about it's your life and, and say, talk about oh, you are this, you are that, or, you know, it can be, it can be a lot. And but you, you've been able to turn that into a positive now how was that road because I don't want to make you cry but there are people out there that you know are considering maybe like suicide or harming themselves because they've got trolls and things like that how are you able to flip that and become dear them like dear them we see today well trolls will always come I feel like they started with me the, uh, seriously speaking, like this, the word tr- like troll, mm. trolls, troll, I don't know whatever it is, but I feel like that word started with, they started with me as in back then when they when Okay, funny enough, the person that did this thing to me. Mm. The, the, Do you know the person? I know the person. <gasps> like, funny enough. And even Where are as they? At the t- <laughs> like, as at the time she even did that stuff, we we're not friends. Okay. We we're not friends at all. Like, did I even confronted her? I asked her, like, what exactly did I do to you? Because I didn't steal from you. I didn't kill your mother. I didn't kill your father. What exactly? Like, what was my offense? Because this this thing that you did, people, I, I had people from different parts of the world. And it was on my birthday. Can you imagine how cruel mm. that was? It was on my birthday. Like, my pictures were, was literally everywhere. People were, then it was BBN days. They were, they were, okay. they, 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 people were literally posting the links on their um, status like if if you wish me happy birthday you're in trouble they'll come for you like so you know this Ashabo, you know this person mm. like then when it start like Instagram fake pages start happening you know now mm. it's like yeah, everywhere rampant, yeah. but then when when it started if they are calling Ashabo of Lagos mm. you see that them number one even if even though they've not because they, they didn't catch me with anybody's sleeping with anybody's husband or anything. You see fake page coming, leave my husband alone. You've been wondering where, how. I mean, like the way they painted me. Countless times, I thought of suicide, like countless times. You can't even have a, I couldn't have a relationship. I couldn't have a relationship. I'll have a relationship sometimes. It'll be going fine. And the next thing, it will just, it will just come. Or like he'll see see the post. No, somebody will just send it to him, him yeah. or maybe he will just some somehow, somehow the whole thing will just end. Like I could not I could not have a successful relationship. And in fact, I am sure one of the reasons why I and my baby daddy, like, we didn't really go well was mm. because of that. Imagine like someone that knows me, mm. then his friends are coming, telling him, stay woke, stay this. This that, but you know, the, it, like it got to a point, it even hacked into my WhatsApp. I was heavily pregnant, I was at the fair because there's this thing we do, there's this makeup fair that we do. So I always go, Wait, for, he hacked into your he WhatsApp, hacked into my WhatsApp just to see, just to read, just to know if truly I sleep around or I'm like truly what they say I am because it didn't like me and him, we didn't meet ourselves in Nigeria, we mm-hmm. met in Ghana because I schooled in Ghana, okay. So 
And I'm like, you know how we started this relationship. Even if, like, it got to, I, I was always explaining myself when I'm in a relationship. Anytime I'm, because at this point, that was why I had to do that journey into my amazing test because it was not easy. So anybody that wants to, I'm, t- I'm done explaining myself. I'm tired of telling you I'm not like that. I'm yeah. tired of, I know my past. You can't say because you read something about me online. And that's my past. My past knows me. I know my past. So you can't just you can't just bring in a story from nowhere and just tell me, oh, this is you. Okay, you've been reading stuff about me. Have you seen my nude picture anywhere? <sighs> Jige, have you have you like did, have you like did you catch me red and then have you seen anywhere that that they said oh they caught that there with a, a man sleeping with somebody's husband? I don't know if you get why. Yeah, I mean. like, no. There's no proof. Like everything was just based off of rumors. Yeah. Yeah, and, and that's, that's you know, this is, wow, this is deep because, you know, all this like breaking the bias, it's not only about the way people look, it's also about what people have heard about you. So exactly. it's like Chinese whispers. Somebody says something, some, somebody reads something and then they just start adding more to it and they add more to it's it and then they see you and they're like, hmm, yeah, she... And then totally you meet somebody like and you just meet somebody and they'd be like, oh my God, you're not even half of what I read. I'm like, when is this ever going to end? Yeah. Because all it's like the you're time. always explaining who you are. At this people. point, at this point, I've said it to myself. I've promised myself I don't owe anybody any explanation anymore. But if you need to, hey, and re- this person is sitting. Ah, she's somewhere. In fact, sometimes I just think about. I don't. I don't. I don't just want to give her clout or anything because it won't cost me anything to just mention her name here. <laughs> I swear, it's, I, I, I swear, like, ah. I'm just waiting for a day that maybe something will just push me. Maybe she'll just do something again and I'll just find out. It took me, it took me two years, no, a year. It took me a year to find out who the person was. But it took me five years to confront this girl. And you know the, ah, uh, the damage that she has caused because <laughs> relationships, <laughs> mental health, it was even the, the grace of God yourself. that I was able to have my child because I wanted to have a kuyudi. It was the grace of God. So it just goes to show, you know, everybody thinks it's fun and games, you know, sitting behind a keyboard and just be like, oh yeah, you know, you're, you're, you know, you sleep around, you do this. Because a lot of the time, a lot of women aren't doing that, but they just say they are. Some women are, whatever. But do, they don't actually understand their words and how people read it and then because people are so fickle they can see something and then say and judge someone and then say oh yeah she looks like it she's definitely not she's, not me, she's not. never met the person but you now just feel like yeah she looks like a whore like mm. I don't care it's crazy. that's how they think that's how that's that's how they think don't worry so I, I, I don't I don't right now I feel like I'm just I don't give room for that anymore mm. so if you are coming to me with that negative vibes mm. I'm just going to you know what to move I know where I'm going to I know what I what I'm about. She gets and I'm even so grateful to God that that child came my way. Because I'm sure by now, if I don't have a child, maybe I'll still be somewhere thinking of still taking my life. Mm. Or probably oh, just of this blog post. Yes, it was you don't know how hey God. You don't know the effect it had on me. Mm. In school, I went all the way to Ghana to school. My classmates that just see me for the first time. They're pointing fingers because of a dirty story that was written about me by. Dun, dun, dun. Do you understand? Like, <laughs> and I'm here thinking to myself, what did I ever do to deserve this? Because mm. I'm sure there are other girls. Nobody is a saint. I, I've never found, um, said I'm a saint, mm-hmm. but you can't just paint a picture of who I'm not. Mm. And you know what? Um, the internet doesn't forget that yeah. story. Is still there. I've looked for a way. To you know, get it out of the um, get it out of the internet, but you can't. I've spoken to my lawyer. I've done everything. It's still there. Anybody can just go and just. But at this point, if 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 I'm scared of anything or I'm bothered about it, I won't be talking about it because I yeah. know what I did. I know my past, so you can't tell me because of what you wrote about me. The whole world, like literally, fifty like eighty percent of the world believed that story when it happened. Anywhere I go to, anywhere I turn to, you'll be pointing fingers. That's the daddy. 
Yeah, but not they point your fingers because you're like, you know, the CEO of AD Beauty. Yeah, it's all good. Energy. 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 (laughs) And it's just beautiful to see how far you've come from your past. I I know that you you didn't grow up with your mom. Yeah. And there are, there are, there are children that don't grow up with some of their parents and they Mm -hmm. end up, you know, using that as a reason. Yeah. To to just lash out. How is it that you have been able to you know find, it's almost like finding light because it's hard it must be hard you know not having that how and, and you also have a daughter now so like what how did you how are you able to deal with that just painful not having a motherly love because even when i got the opportunity to submit to my mom she was already down with stroke right so i met her for the first time when i was 13 I was just briefly, she went back. We met again. She went. She disappeared. Where she's always she, disappearing. She, you don't know where she I went. I don't know. She's always disappearing. You understand? So when, and I've, I like, I finally, because when I had my daughter, I was like, I know the pain I went through mm. having this child. How can a mother leave her own child? I really wanted to know the backstory because I asked my dad. You, today, you give me one story. Tomorrow, you, you would have forgotten that you told me about how, what happened. You tell me another version of the story. So I'm like, you, you don't mm. understand. Let me, I need to speak to my mom. So I started looking for her. We could not find her. A good Samaritan on my Snapchat. Snapchat? I found my mother for me. <laughs> like this, this person literally printed flyers. Oh, wow. With this That's one so single sweet. picture of my mom that I had. Mm. He printed flyers. And you, if, if I don't know how they just called me, they found your mom. Like, are you joking? Please stop joking. Even my father, that my father could not find my mom. So it's you. Jesus. Snap my snap my snap. I, I don't. Even, I've not even seen you before. Mm. So I, I didn't believe. Only for them to actually call me, they sent me a picture of my mother. That this is my mom. I'm like, I was like, wow. I have to tell my dad to and my um, elder sister to quickly go to the village to get her. When they got there, she was down with stroke. She could not talk. Mm. Or the side of her, she was already paralyzed. Like this, because I just told them to bring her to Lagos. I want to take care of her. Mm. She came to Lagos. I was literally baiting her. She was pulling on her body. It was a whole lot of. <laughs> it was a lot. So she passed away. It was sad. We could not talk to so today. I don't know mm. what happened. But she, I, but I was, I'm just grateful to God. Actually, she was able to meet her grandchild my uh, cuckoo and my sister's kids. Mm. So even though we didn't have like the one-on-one conversation yeah. that we wanted to have, but after she met, she could not talk. She was just looking at them like this. And yeah, so I always feel sad. Most times, sometimes when I watch Queen and her mom, like my best friend and her mom, mm. I was like, ah, you're very lucky. Mm. You have your mom, you have your dad, you're very, very lucky. I don't have that model, uh, motherly love. And when I'm with my child, I can't even stay away from her and I'm like so how how (sighs) How does that make you feel though knowing what that love is like and knowing that somebody didn't Ah, it feels really uh, I feel really 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 sad extremely sad extremely sad I always feel sad there's no day that I think about it that I don't feel bad but it's what it is that's my story that's that's how my life is so I can't there's nothing I can do so, you, is there anything you would say to people that don't maybe have lost one of their parents or never knew their parents? Like, what encouragement can you give them? Because you've come so far and you're inspirational in that sense. Okay, so I what I'm going to just say is you are on your own first. Um, you have to let me say you, Ruba, because I like to yes, say Yes, yes, please. Say um on it tomb to eh? To ba tomb back koe. You will not quite right. Do you understand? Like, because I don't have a, I don't have that motherly mm-hmm. love now, doesn't mean that I should now make that as an excuse to just be anyhow. Mm-hmm. I want, I know where I'm going to. I know what I want to be. I know how I want to be. I know how I want my child. Like, I want to be like a role model for my mm-hmm. child. So, it's not my fault that whatever happened, happened between my parents. So, I won't um, go by that um Line. Even though I had Coco, myself and my dad are not together, we don't have issues. 
but it's just it is what it is. It's just just I don't know, like I don't I don't want to talk about him, mm-hmm. right? But just be you teach yourself. You, you can't you can't say because I don't have a, I don't have both parents, you know, make that as, as an excuse to be wayward. Just treat yourself. I mean, as I'm like you saying, <laughs> I don't really want to say again. <laughs> it's okay, girl. No, but it's it's true. You definitely and wait, I'm gonna try some your bar. Oh my god. <laughs> oh need lati call RI. Yes, right. You, you need to teach yourself in everything. Even people that have to I, my producer is laughing at me. I can't believe this. <laughs> like, this is why people like me do not try to speak anything. <laughs> language people like you laughing <laughs> anyways it's very important for you to always um teach yourself because your parents can only do so much yeah and what if your parents aren't the great the greatest parents even if you do have good parents yeah, what people if that your parents are rude? Fun. yeah so, or yeah so yeah, people that orphans and they're still friends doing so well it's not an excuse exactly and you you know you really demystified your you know because I'm telling you, yeah, when people see certain influencers and women, even men, they'll mm-hmm. maybe think that he's a Yahoo boy, right? Mm-hmm. Or they don't have any depth to them. But your 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 journey and your background and everything you've, all the obstacles you've overcome is inspirational. So it's not by, you know, maybe going to a certain school or exactly. living in a certain country or, you know, just seeming like a role model that mm-hmm. makes you a role model. because. Your story can, will touch so many young girls and, and yeah, boys as well who might not have parents or have been trolled, you know? So it's very important for us to not judge people. And on that note, I want to ask you, do you see yourself as a role model? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I get a lot of messages from people. Oh my God, I look up to you, blah, blah, blah. I want to be like you. And I'm like, okay, thank you. But don't afraid to ever go through what I've been through because... That YouTube video that I did, that was just a bit, a tiny bit of my story. I I didn't I can't I, I didn't even dive into my personal life, like my relationship. I've not I've never for once told the story about my relationship, mm. right? That's even worse. Let's just leave that aside. But I just pray and hope that okay, this old thing that you're saying, oh, yeah, damn, she's pretty. Oh, she's always smiling. She's always happy. You don't know what's going down. Like, you don't know what I go through. Yeah, in closed doors. Yes, be inspired. But don't pray to be like me. Rather, pray to be more than me. Right? Mm. So that's what I always tell them. So, yeah. Okay, well, this, this has been really insightful. And um, I'm sure you... It's breaking a stereotype, so definitely breaking a, mm-hmm. breaking the bias. Mm-hmm. Is there anything else you want to say to your people? <laughs> Go buy some Beauty by AD. <laughs> you know, you have to buy Beauty by, You have to become a body. And if you yes. are not a daddy lover, <laughs> what are you waiting for? What are you really waiting for? You know, I did, you know, so your name, your name is actually Diadem, right? Yeah. yeah I had to Google it because I was like, what is Diadem? Is that like a Yoruba or something? I've never, what is di- 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 Diadem? Diadem. <laughs> I was like, it doesn't, it's not, it doesn't have any meaning in Yoruba. Then I realized it's actually it's biblical. Right? Yeah. It means crown. It's, it means crown. And you know, my name is Adiola. Yeah. So Ade means crown. Yeah. So just like, I, yeah, I know I understand. Okay. I'm like, you people, yeah, I'm wanting all of you. But your name is also Chibuzo. Chizoba. Chizoba. So mm. who's Ibo? That's from my mom. My mom is Ibo, actually. Oh, your mom is Ibo. She's from Imo State. Okay. Iguta. I believe so. Okay. Uguta. Uguta or one or two. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah so you, oh, yeah, let's demystify one more thing because that troll tried mm. to say that you bleached and bleaching is such a big mm. deal in Nigeria and can you just tell everybody here because I'm looking at her knuckles mm. and please, there's still no sign of I don't bleach you. Quite, right it's now, quite fresh. I'm <laughs> just maintaining my skin. I'm just maintaining beauty right now. Just maintaining, maintaining the beauty. beauty. Which, can, I, can, I, can I tell them what the photos are? Yeah. Used? Oh, God. Okay. Oh, yeah. Are Shameless. You, um, uh, usht. You know, use usht. Let your skin do the talking. So you're not say tomorrow now. Daddy was going to bleach. I did not Come bleach. Come on, you. influencer. <laughs> influencer. Thank you so much for coming on. Me, her, and everything else. I'm glad. Thank you for having me. It was me. so great having you. And um, yeah, 
best of luck with everything and cl- congratulations thank on you. five years thank you so yeah, much so great we'll be six years this year by the way six oh then, <laughs> you know what you'll soon be a decade we'll, we'll I'm on. telling you I can't wait, wait, wait we can't finish that your, your, was that your five year um, party the, the, the anniversary or my birthday oh, was it, no I think it was the anniversary in your shop yeah yeah, my yeah. and oh my gosh see the love from all the the women you have real true friends and we're always advocating for that on this podcast your friends were literally on the floor praying, crying, so happy for you. I know. No, wait, how, how, where did you get your friends from? So it's like some, I have good friends before they come for me, but <laughs> some people shy, they don't really have that, you know, that support. How, wait, did you go somewhere to handpick your friends? <sighs> well, I'm just grateful. I'm grateful to the few ones that I have in my life. I don't have a lot of friends. Those friends have showed me, Pepe. I've had friends that, they beat me. The guy that beats me because I was the first to buy human hair. Among ah, it was a serious bit, you know. My father entered his okay. car the next morning, drove me to their houses one by one. If I see you, I know my daughter again. If I see you, ah, it was not a small. <laughs> they poke <pop> poke me. <laughs> so ah. ever since then, uh, no, I don't have, I don't keep too many friends. I just, I pick my friends. Yeah, it's right. The ones I know that okay, even if I'm winning, they are not jealous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you, do you have you ever have you had that rivalry apart from the human hair? Have you had females? Uh, he plans to he's still there. But we are coping. Oh, I get you. <laughs> yes, wink, wink. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for coming on the podcast. You're welcome. You're Yay. Welcome.